When we talk about automation testing, one name definitely pops up in your head. That is Selenium. The growth of software testing has created a thin layer between manual testing and automation testing, which are the most predominantly used forms of testing. But in the recent days, automation testing is more preferred over manual testing as it reduces the errors and is way more efficient. So hey everyone, this is Vaishnavi from Edureka and in this session, we'll see how to build an automation tester resume to unveil their job roles, their responsibilities, the latest Selenium job trends and also we'll learn how to impress the interviewer by writing a proper resume. So before we get started with writing the sample resume, let's take a look at the agenda of this module. So we'll start the discussion by learning about who exactly is an automation tester and what are his basic roles and responsibilities. And we'll also see what is the job description for this profile and then we'll take a look at the skills that are required to become a successful tester. Moving further to the discussion, we'll understand the basic concepts which are considered while writing a resume. And then we'll take a look at the latest Selenium job trends which is constantly been increasing in the recent past. And we'll also discuss about the salary acquired by an automation tester with n years of experience. And we'll finally end this session by writing a formatted resume which will help you gain better opportunities in the field of testing. So without wasting much time, let's get straight to the module. So we'll start understanding our first topic. Who is an automation tester and what are his basic roles and responsibilities? Automation basically refers to the process of completing a desired task without human intervention. Then what is automation testing? Automation testing is referred as testing the system without human intervention. Automation testing has taken back all the prolonged methods of testing a system or an application. Scope of this type of testing is gradually increasing because of their advantages and user friendly behavior. Now, what is the role of a person who is hired as an automation tester by any organization? This automation tester acts as an interface between the system and the UI interface. Any change made by this tester directly affects the system and the user interface. So this automation tester plays an integral role in testing the software. Now you might ask what are the different roles of an automation tester? The elegant way to start building your career as a Selenium tester is by working on some real time projects. So what are the roles and responsibilities of a Selenium tester or an automation tester? These testers are supposed to design and write the test automation scripts and also help in investigating the problems in the software. They also help in defining the process strategies for a better testing result. They must be able to process, implement and monitor the testing that takes place. These testers should ensure that they deliver timely results and generate the code that help in easy detection of bugs and resolve them. And they also must keep up to date with changing trends and also help in developing and designing the test strategies for functional, non-functional and performance testing. So these are the basic roles and responsibilities of an automation tester. So let's take a look at the job description for this role. This will give you an overview of the tasks and the duties of an automation tester. So the automation tester should develop HLD that is high level design and also define the software architecture. He or she must ensure that the customer satisfaction is met, should be involved in test case review, monitoring and tracking of tasks, status reporting and so on. Should demonstrate successful completion of analysis, technical design and programming assignments. Should develop, deploy and maintain automation at production facilities. Develop test strategy for product, write test specification with input and output requirements, analyze the product testability and design the test strategy. Should be responsible for timely execution of test equipment and also the production trail. So this is all about the jobs that are to be taken care of when you are working on Selenium. Now let's move on and find out what are the important skills that an organization looks for while hiring the software testers. So I've made a list of the skills that any company would look for. Automation testing requires the base knowledge of manual testing because without understanding what happens if it is done manually, you cannot take a risk of performing the operation using automation testing. So what are the other skills that are required to become a very prominent automation tester? I've differentiated this based on the experience level guys. 
So we'll first check out what are the skills that are required for a fresher. So he or she should have the basic knowledge of the test architecture, solid understanding of computer languages like Java, Python, C sharp, and also very familiar with the software development. Knows how to design the test frameworks, should be well versed in creating the test scripts, has the ability to troubleshoot the equipment problems, and perform complex system tests. He or she should possess creative thinking skills and also has the ability to communicate well with the other members of the development team. So these are the skills that are required in the entry level. Now let's check out the skills of a person who has any years of experience. He or she should have minimum two to five years of experience working on the software development, at least three plus years on hands on testing experience, three plus years in building, leading, and managing product testing teams, demonstrate leadership in developing and delivering the test plans, experience working on several projects of the product lifecycle, develop innovative strategies to improve the effectiveness of testing, excellent written and oral communication skills, experience in using all tricks of the trade in QA for automation and regression testing, experience in Linux, Windows based development experience in SQL queries, understands the business goals and specification tasks thoroughly, and ability to work collaboratively to get results. So this is all about the skill set which the user has to develop while working on Selenium. Now let's move on to the discussion and understand the important points which we need to keep in mind while building a resume. A resume is your first impression in front of an interviewer. It is the first and the most crucial step towards your goal. There are basically two ways in which you can build your resume. One is chronological and the other one is functional. First, we'll discuss about the chronological method. This chronological method is a traditional way of building a resume where you mention your experience in a manner it took place. So this type of resume is preferred in conservative fields, guys. Now, what is the functional method? This is a whole new approach where you mention your most relevant experience based on the required skills. Here, your recruiter does not have to go through the entire resume to find out the required skills. This is more focused and concise way of portraying yourself in front of an interviewer. Now I'm going to discuss a few key points which help in building your resume effectively. First, your resume should be consistent, concise, and clear in terms of formatting and the message that you're trying to convey is direct. Always keep your resume updated, guys. Building or updating your resume is really tiresome. The more time you invest in building one resume, the chances of you getting selected is also high. As you know, the recruiters receive hundreds of resume for a single job, but your resume will be the only thing which will help in clearing the first round for you. So do work on updating your resume every now and then. For someone with less than eight years of experience should have a single page resume. If the length of the resume is more than two pages, it becomes lengthy and the interviewer becomes uninterested in reading it. So try to shorten it and try to be up to the mark and also try to make functional resume. If you have two plus years of experience where you can put all the relevant experience rather than just flooding it with everything. Give priorities to those skills which are required for the particular job. Try to list out the activities and mentioning your role in that activity. This is where you showcase your interpersonal skills such as leadership, team player, etc. And also you can add a list of few awards that you have achieved to prove your potential in the co-curriculum fields too. And last but not the least, your hobbies play an important role in breaking the ice with the interviewer. This section actually shows that you are an all rounder with various skills and hobbies. So these are all the basic rules that you need to follow while writing a resume. Now let's move on to our next topic. That is the Selenium job trends with the gradual enhancement in the field of software testing. The demand has also been increasing in the recent days. Majority of the career aspirants tend to choose software testing over other development tools. Let's see why this happens. Selenium is one of the most important testing tool which one must master to build a career in the field of testing. There are many organizations that offer jobs for the roles like test engineer, test manager, test analyst, QA engineer, 
software tester and whatever you name it. So the vacancies are also increasing as the pay scale for this job is very high. And this graph here shows us the latest job trends in the recent years. As you can see that there is an exponential growth in the vacancies for the testing jobs. People take up permanent type and the contract type jobs according to their lifestyle. So the contract job scales is in tall with the massive 80% increase in the job vacancies. And the median salary specified according to this is around 50,000 euros, which is a lot of money, guys. So this answers all our questions as to what is the latest trends in the field of software testing. So if you guys want to become a successful software tester, here's the right time to start working for it. And the first step towards it is building your proper resume. Okay, so I'll give you an idea on how to write a resume by the end of the session. So now let's talk about the stats. Any guesses as to how much a software tester or an automation tester make in a year? Okay, we'll see about this guys. Software testing offers the most promising jobs across the globe, which sums up to a total of $83,200 a year in the United States. Well, again, that's a lot of money. Selenium is globally rated as the top priority in the test automation field and is scaling up from 29% to 36% of the number of people taking up testing as their career option. So as a test automation engineer, one should master Selenium to get a better salary offer. And also the national average salary for a software tester in India is about 3,86,914. This is the average that I'm talking about guys. You can actually think of a better picture in this case. Also, the average pay of a software tester is $55,815 per year. So I think you guys have got a clearer idea on how automation testing is being in the front line since a very long time. So this is about the salary times related to an automation tester. Now let's move on to the final part of this session where we are going to write a sample resume to acquire a job as an automation tester. So I've written a sample resume so that you can analyze how to build a strong resume of your own. So to do that, the first and the foremost thing you need to concentrate on is the format. Your resume should be in a proper format. First is your introduction. In this, give a proper and clear cut introduction about yourself. Make sure you mentioned one of the greatest skill that you possess, which draws the attention of the recruiter. This has to be plain and to the point. Make sure you don't make any mistakes in this introduction part. Next is your education. Your qualification specify the degree and the institution and the year of pass out. So this education details is left to the user. Moving further, you need to talk about your experience. If you are a fresher, do make sure to mention about the projects that you've worked on and what was your role in building that project. If you are an experienced, do mention your role in the past company and your major projects that you've worked on. So this plays a major role in catching the eye of a recruiter. Next, you need to specify the skills that you have. First, you need to specify the skills that you are comfortable when you're asked a question about it. Do mention about the programming knowledge that you have. So this is all about your skill set and also specify the tools on which you've worked on. So this actually increases the rate of your selection and you need to be very confident when you're asked a question about any of the skills that you've mentioned. After this, you need to specify your achievements and hobbies. Try not to mention too many achievements or hobbies as it could distract your interviewer and they might miss some important ones. Mention a few which is relevant and which you are very confident about. I hope you understood how to write a Selenium resume guys and I hope I was clear to you guys. So if you want to learn more about Selenium WebDriver, don't forget to take a look at the Edureka playlist. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!